Love the smell of racks in the morning. I have one thing to say. I can't believe this thing didn't break. Oh my god! How did it not break? I'm gonna have to blame it on my engineering skills. Totally kidding. I have to thank. I think I have to thank this guy right here. The belt kind of can slip. It's not a chain. It's not a shaft. If this if this thing wants to spin and this thing does not, the the transmission here. The belt will slip, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it doesn't just rip it off. The other thing that I'm thinking is this little um, support bracket right here that it actually isn't connected to the shaft too well. As you can see, it slips back and forth. That's what you constantly see us messing with. So I gotta find a set screw for that. I pressure washed it as good as I could. I do have to clean the air filters. I think I wanna clean those by hand because I didn't want stuff going down into the intake or anything like that. So I'll rip those off and clean them. People are probably wondering what this engine is. See, I think this one has a little bit too much horse. It's putting out about 100 horse. A lot of people on my Instagram feed, at 3D.machines, a lot of people think this is a 580 still. It is actually a 600, it's bored out. So we got 600 cc's here. We're pushing actually probably around 105 horsepower. For marketing purposes, I preferably prefer, well I prefer 100 horsepower, just 100. If you want the extra five, you can keep it. This engine is actually probably a 12 and a half or uh, yep, oh, yep, 12 and a half horse. So we're gonna put this thing in instead so the transmission doesn't blow up. Totally kidding, I had to move some more stuff out of my old garage. That was one of my spare engines. If anybody has any ideas, put any ideas in the comment section below because uh, we might make them happen. I think it might be time to put something over all of this. It was apparent on our first ride that this thing would have acted as an amazing mud shield that probably would have protected us from about 75% of the mud slash water that we went through. So we definitely got to hook the gator up with that. Saying that the highest point right here isn't the filters, isn't the cord here, it's this stupid little tab right here, which I could honestly notch out a little bit but we have to go four inches up to avoid that, the cap, the filters, and stuff like that, and still allow our shifter to move. And then since our new engine comes back a little further, we have to extend our hinge points back further. I'd say we're gonna use about 75% of that and about 25% of this. I'm kind of hoping to use a little bit more than 25% of that, so that way it's kind of off my floor. Uh, so this thing's pretty well gutted. The gas tank's out, battery's out, battery mounting bracket is out, some of the computer stuff is off the frame. This piece of plastic is bungee corded around the axle there and pulled down so I can saw this back portion off. What I plan on doing here is since it's got this nice little piece of angle iron here for uh, strength, I'm going to go ahead and utilize that. So I'll cut this here, cut this here, and then I'll show you. But we also got our oil reservoir off and our coolant reservoir off. Now we gotta use that guy. We have pressure. Something I didn't really think would happen. Cut. 
That cut is terrible. There, now I can get my saw where it's gotta go. All this freaking stress. Come on. That spoon isn't supposed to be bent like that. Got it. So a bunch of cutting and grinding later. I got a lot of the pieces cut, a lot of the pieces ready to weld. I cut this old, oh, the thing I'm about to trip over, or I did trip over, the old farm pin. Got that removed. Gonna patch that back up, make that look pretty. And then I have every single piece that I need for the extension here cut. Basically it's ready for the four by four extension. I think I'm running low on pipe though. Whoops. Sweatshirts in summertime don't mix. Some other math and science and physics stuff. I think this piece, if you look here, I think we're gonna hit this. Maybe not. We'll stay optimistic at this point, but we do have to cut this piece behind my beautiful broom here. This piece, it's my last piece I have. Put that on the gator and then take this thing apart because I gotta make it slightly more manageable for just me to mess with it, especially with all this stuff just like tacked up. I mean, I could weld it because it's 95% there and we could send it, but if I did screw up, then we're only, you know, cutting through a couple tacks and we're not cutting through the entire weld. And for you that don't know this, weld is way stronger than just the metal that you're welding it to. So this thing has a much harder job. say that we're gonna have enough. And after you say stuff like that, chaos is right around the corner. No doubt about that at all. See? Necesitamos mass welding. We need more or a lot of welding. Uh, it's probably all my little welder can handle for right now, so I gotta take a welder break. It's not about the size that matters, it's about how you use it. We're, t we're talking about that thing. <laughs> so this is what the contraption looks like currently as you can see the box definitely doesn't hug the tires the fenders don't, don't hug the tires like they used to not sure if i like that or dislike that i think it looks like big which is cool i'm not sure if i should lower these closer to the tires or not i'll tell you what i need a design team because if I had a design team, they could just tell me how to make it and then I could just do it. I don't mind the looks of the back. It does look like everything's going to clear, granted nothing's into position, but still, the thing dumps thanks to these two bolts I found. Nice big suckers, long suckers. 
I gotta take a break from that thing and I actually have to work on this. The Duramax steering box is leaking and it has been leaking for the last couple weeks slash months. So behind this frame right here, there's a steering box. Those two lines hook up to it. And this thing right here, it's leaking. Uh, I'm happy to say the steering box is out. It's sitting right there. It is nasty. And while I was working on the truck and I was looking over at the Gator, we, I think we gotta get some cup holders here right over the engine. Also gotta do a clutch cover there and then some sort of uh, cover here so that our victim, I mean passenger, doesn't burn his or her leg. And judging from the last uh, 3D Machines production, we're definitely gonna have to install at least one to three more holy handles for the passenger. So I flipped the bed around on the Gator, brought the Gator inside, and I think I like this height, but I don't like the fact that this is completely solid. It, it needs like a headache rack look. So what I'm thinking, and we're running low on material, this is like our last clean piece. I'm gonna have to start diving into the pile here and find some square tubing. Luckily there's some right here. But I like the height. I'm thinking maybe just a little taller, coming up at an angle over angle. Let's cut up a gator. Didn't hit the record button. Cool. Not we were trying to make videos. First the Duramax, now my saw. What's next? Brushes look good. Anybody see it? Let's see if it bursts into flames. All right, so this thing isn't working right, so one DeWalt has to save the other DeWalt. We're just gonna use this guy on that jig. using this thing is because A, I like the, the jig setup. B, I like the fact that uh, the pieces just fall off the edge here. And then third, I have this awesome window here for some fresh summer breeze. Man! Pieces are cut. No thanks to that thing right there. Thank you. Now, check it out. Piece number one, piece number two, and finally we got a rack. Time to tack the rack. Love the smell of racks in the morning. But Dalton, it's bent.
take it professionalism to a whole new level. Yeah! Yes! I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to keep up with the sophistication of the gator. Wow, Zerbs, maybe I should just weld it like that. That's just downright sexy. Some of these carriage bolts just strip out. They're not moving, so we're just gonna have to cut them off. Victim number one, victim number two. Two new things, one, that thing, and two, the headache rack. Got some paint on it. The, the other thing I was pointing to was the engine rack back there. While I was waiting for the paint to dry on this thing, I, I got those engines out of the way. The nine horse was sitting here, the 18 horse was sitting here, and now they're back there. But check out that headache rack, that looks awesome. It's way better than A, the bent thing that used to be there, and B, the thing that you couldn't really see. This has some angulation on it. I dig it. No, it's not done, but I ran out of material, so I'm sorry. We're gonna get this curve out of there by putting another piece right across the front here. But next time, next time I see you guys, next Tuesday, I got some stuff that came in, and uh, it's a big switchboard. And then we have this special switch right here. Any guesses what that switch might be used for? Let's just say the gear is gonna go places. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Oh, 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 oh,